Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a suggestion video featuring Aviator Mater from the Short Air Mater. This was suggested to me by Forrest Gump Fanatic 2003 IGUA. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And if any of you would like to suggest something yourself, the information is down in the description below, along with the information on how to request something on your birthday. And I know I mentioned this in my past few suggestion videos, but it is very crucial. And that is the new rule. Please watch my Van Sand suggestion, or at least the introduction of it, because I explain the new rule in depth. And there's a brief explanation in the description of this video. And it's very important as if you don't do that thing, your suggestions don't get made. So I just wanted to let you guys know so you aren't surprised if your suggestion doesn't get made. I hope that makes sense. So let's get into a review here of Aviator Mater, which is actually one of my favorite Maters of all time. Just because of how awesome he looks. I mean, look at this guy. So like I said, he is from the Air Mater short, which is like one of the last actual shorts that revolved around Mater. Of course, I believe there was time travel Mater after that, but that was basically it. This was the last one really that Diecast got made for. And um, a very nice short indeed. It kind of foreshadowed planes. And I definitely recommend watching it so you guys know what I'm talking about. So he's got this nice cap on that obviously a, an aviator would wear when he's flying a plane. So you got the goggles there and they're just so de detailed, just really nice. It also has a really nice feel to it. It's just not, it's not cheap plastic. It's very nice. And I love how the wings on him kind of match his body. It's just kind of some rusted detailed wings there. And of course you even have this little support bar on both sides just looks really really awesome and then the best part on the back here is of course we do have uh, some even shorter wings here and now we even have a propeller which actually works so I can't believe we actually got Mater with the propeller so you know it, it's a very cool die cast very unique I mean you got his tow cables are now like in a different place to make room for this obviously and it's just very detailed as you can see there's like the chain cord there and I just can't, can't express how much I like this diecast. And of course, he's got the A113 license plate. So, just a very, very cool diecast in my opinion. And you may be thinking, there's a very similar diecast to this. And yes, there is. From Mater the Greater Short, there's also an Aviator Mater. And uh, this one's not as good in my opinion because he just has the um, mask or goggles on here. And... Uh, they are different, but they are very similar. The outlining around like the actual lenses are a lighter brown instead of just solid one color. But basically they are the same. And um, the reason that uh, this Mater does not have the wings and all that is because he was attached to Props McGee, which is a plane, and uh, he was just kind of drifting in the air. And this Mater actually has to fly himself. So yeah, that's basically the differences between these two avi aviator maters. And uh, if you guys don't know in the short of a air mater, this is his first stage and look what he ends off like. I mean, he, get, he gets a pretty nice upgrade. I mean, look at this air mater here. This is uh, really awesome. So that is basically it for the review of Aviator Mater. Like I said, one of my favorite Maters. So let me know in the description, in the comments below, out of these three Maters, we've got the official Air Mater, Aviator Mater from Air Mater, and Aviator Mater from Mater the Greater. What is your favorite? My favorite would be this, just because of the amazing decals. So that is basically it for this review. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for Scump Fanatic 2003 IGUA. IGUA for the suggestion and I hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be and I'll see you guys on Tuesday no we're seeing you guys on Monday because it's the first day of the 12 days of Christmas really exciting right guys and um, all that's locked in place so you can't suggest anything else or anything more for that it's all finalized so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye now.